Welcome back. Next up, we're going to make some burgers. But first things first, we need to get to the shops because I need some supplies. So to make our burgers, I've got some ground minced beef, some parsley and onion, some gherkins, some capers, Gobi mustard, Dijon mustard, some breadcrumbs, and a little bit of milk. So the first thing we need to do is get this onion cooked and cooled down. While we're doing that, I'm going to get the mince back in the fridge to keep that clean. Next up, parsley come off the stems into the onions and we're going to add in all the other ingredients minus the mince and blitz it all up. So now we're going to create basically a puree with the onions, the parsley, the mustards, uh, the capers and the gherkins and the breadcrumbs and the milk. We're doing that separately from the mince because the mince has already been minced. So now all we have to do is mince this up. Once that's like a puree, we're going to add it to the mince. The reason for doing this is to make sure the burgers are nice and smooth when finished. So next up, we're just going to combine the mince and the puree. So I'm going to add a little oil to the pan, not a lot, and take a small, very, very small amount of the burger meat. Pat it down nice and thin because I want it to cook really quick, because I'm only testing the seasoning at this stage. Once you're happy with the seasoning of your burger, you're ready to shape them. You should get five or six burgers out of this recipe easy. Just bear in mind, the thicker the burger, the longer it takes to cook. So to go with our burgers, we're going to make some potato wedges. Uh, rule of thumb, one decent sized potato per person, and then a couple extra. So I've got five people and two extra potatoes. A decent sized potato for me would be just over the size of a tennis ball. When treeing up your potato wedges, you want to stack them up like this to get an even colour throughout. So next up I'm going to do a really really simple coleslaw and for me the key to really good coleslaw is to get your veg super fine. So all the veg has been finely shredded, I've added the zest of one lemon, now I'm going to add in whole grain mustard, a little bit of salt, mayonnaise and that's coleslaw done. So the burgers I've had just over an hour in the fridge to set. Uh, I've got some bacon and we're ready to cook. If you like those burgers and you want to try making them at home, make sure you check out the description below for the full recipe and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. See you in the next one.